1 Corinthians chapter 1. Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God, and Sothenes our brother, to the church of God which is at Corinth, to those that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place call on the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you to the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called to the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I ask you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there are no divisions among you, but that you are perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been declared to me of you, my brothers, by those which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you says, I am of Paul and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides that, I know not whether I baptized any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. For the preaching of the cross is to those that perish foolishness, but to us which are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save those that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, to the Jews a stumbling block, and to the Greeks foolishness. But to those which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brothers, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised, has God chosen, yes, and things which are not, to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are you in Christ Jesus, who of God is made to us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that 
according as it is written, He that glories, let him glory in the Lord.